our presentation this morning is on uh, research and we are going to look at both theory and practice but mostly try to you know operationalize what we are talking about as a supervisor you are mentoring this uh, candidate into scholarship it is also good to introduce the student or to introduce the uh, mentee to the academic community for that supervision to be more nourishing for it to make research interesting there needs to be you know uh, a working relationship a good working relationship nurtured between the two the supervisor and the supervisee without this then there can be misunderstandings and sometimes the comments that are coming through from the supervisor may appear like punishment or whatever is coming, I mean, the, the, the way the student is responding to the, the comments may also appear like they are careless, you know. Then there must be that mutual understanding, a relationship that is based on respect and trust. One of the foundations of good research is human capacity, um, infrastructural capacity and data. If you have access to high impact data, you'll be able to make strategic decisions from a point of view where even as a student, you're trying to figure out what your research title would be. If you had access to good data, you'll be able to understand the trends in research in your area and choose a, a suitable title. If you're looking for a supervisor to work with or a co-supervisor to work with, access to data could actually help you in getting this kind of information. Countries that have invested in high impact data, there's a strong correlation in the fact that they have produced good research and livelihoods have increased. Everything actually right now is very data driven, even uh, social media, um, you'll know about it. Uh, most of the advertisements that you're curated with are driven by data that you yourself generate. Yeah, I mean, the things called big data you've heard about. Um, even uh, even uh, intelligence, let me call it that, governance, yeah, is really interested in this question um, called data. In our 21st century, um, leadership has actually come down to this. The problem, of course, is the following. If we all have the same data, yeah, and we all do the same analysis in terms of economic advantage, etc., etc. We'll all have the same data. You know, who becomes who becomes the world superpower? The person who becomes the world superpower is the one who takes that data, and like every proper entrepreneur, takes the necessary risks and invests. Entrepreneurial leadership in the 21st century is important, but it has to be driven by data. In many ways, what we are launching today is a cutting edge initiative. As some of you here today have already had the opportunity to tour the research center, you have likely envisioned how real and practical the training will be, aspects that we are greatly emphasizing. It is within the Marist Research Center that the staff of Research Plus will carry out their day-to-day -day tasks and activities for research projects commissioned to the company. With a fully operational webcam enabled CATI center, that is computer assisted telephone interviews, a focus group discussion facility with one way mirror and adjoining viewing chamber, a training and resource center area, consultation booths, a breakout area, just to mention some of the facilities that it houses. It is clear to see how practical the training will be given the actual projects that will go on there all year round. Our mandate as the commission for University education is very critical for all the universities to look at the training. The lecturers who teach in class should also revamp their knowledge by buttressing it with the research findings that they get in the various places where research is undertaken. Kenya, as a country, together with many African nations, has been obligated through some of our pronouncements, including the pronouncements at the African Union Commission, 
to give research a central part by supporting and creating financial opportunities and the environment which is conducive so that research can impact on social, political, and economic uh, development of society. The coming of this center has been my greatest joy. Because I think generally, in education, we are meant to grow knowledge. We are meant to create knowledge and to share that knowledge. We are meant to bring development. And the resource center that we needed most is the research center that we have as, as of now. The launch has been a blessing to the center, to the university, and to Africa in large and beyond. Because I believe that what is going to come out of this um, research center is going to be very beneficial, uh, beneficial uh, of benefit to all humankind. So I believe that uh, it is high time for us also as scholars to engage the government. I think we shouldn't stand away and wait for the government to come and approach us. Sometimes if we have ideas, we should be able to sell those ideas to the respective ministries where those ideas can be utilized and have some impact. We are at a point where we actually really need to do something. Uh, the seasoned researchers, the experts who exist, it's upon us to actually contribute to developing next generation researchers. So that is what we're hoping to achieve uh, with the Marist Research Center. Um, by coming and setting up within an institution of higher learning where the students are in our face every day and so we have no choice but to actually engage them actively and intensively and give them the opportunity to learn uh, what research is about. I had an opportunity to engage a number of students and I did a quick association exercise with them just so that I check what their understanding of research is or what their attitudes and perceptions are to research. Marist University at large is highly privileged by the, the research centre that have been established in our school. Uh, being in that, that the research centres has really helped the students a lot in terms of research in different fields. Uh, for example, in medicine and uh, maybe data research and many fields it have really, really helped the students a lot. And even right now, most of the students are benefiting from the research center in that they are being trained so that maybe they will take the research center as a career or later life. And after they have graduated, they will be taken out there from the field for the work and they might be even be employed by the farm if they are fortunate enough.